Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Scripture. Today I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation. And in this video I'm going to be reading the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13. Um, before I get started I want to say a little prayer. Uh, dear Lord, I come to you just thanking you for all that you do. Lord, I just thank you for this channel and thank you for allowing me to publicly read your word, Lord, and to spread the gospel. Lord, I just pray that it does not fall on deaf ears. And I just pray for wisdom and understanding in your word and through your word. We love you so much and thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alrighty, Matthew chapter 13. On the same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea, and great multitudes were gathered together to him, so that he got into a boat and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them out. But others fell on good ground and yielded a crop, some, hun some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered and said to them, Because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not, seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. And in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, hearing, hearing you will hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you will see, and not perceive. For the hearts of, of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears lest they should understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For assuredly, I say to you, that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Therefore, Hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in, in his heart. This is he who has received seed by the wayside. But he who received the seed on stony places, this is he, this, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, yet he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Now he who received the seed among the thorns is he who hears the word, and the cares of this world and deceitfulness of, the, of riches choke the word, and he becomes unfruitful. But he who receives seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces, 
some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and at the time of harvest I will gather to the reap I will say to the reapers, first gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable he put forth to them saying saying, The kingdom kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field which indeed is the least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs. It, but when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come to nest in its branches. Another parable he spoke to them, The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the multitudes in parables, and without a parable he did not speak to them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things kept secret from the foundation of the world. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said to them, He who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seeds are the sons of the kingdom. But the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and those who practice lawlessness, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be, wa there will, there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth, then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid, and for joy over it he and for joy over it he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he, he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore, and they sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but threw, threw the bad away. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth, separate the wicked from amongst the just, and cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to them, Have you understood all these things? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he said to them, Therefore every scribe instructed 
instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his treasury. Hmm. Therefore, every scribe instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out his, his treasure things new and old. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these parables that he departed from there. When he had come to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? So they, so they were offended at him, but Jesus said to them, A prophet is... A prophet is... <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief.